what's going on guys so here is part three of our let's play pokemon leaf green series um did some leveling up off camera but i wanted to show you guys something here if i can get a battle apparently not gonna happen this is something that i wanted to do on camera for you guys so here we go uh we'll sit on my caterpie have him kill this Pidgey, and if anybody's paying attention to these videos, you shouldn't know what's going to happen. <laughs> so, here we go. Nice attack missed. Good, good. Tackle. Okay. One more, one more. And <coughs> he's done. Okay. So, Caterpie, 23 XP, and he leveled up to level 7. Nice. So, there it is, our first evolution, very first in this play. So, I could have done that off camera, but I wanted to figure I'd put all that in the uh, in the videos for you guys, the evolutions and catching new stuff, like I said. So, we have our first evolution, our Caterpie evolved into Metapod. Nice, very nice. Okay, and... Gonna switch here. You guys are gonna get two for the price of one here, cause hopefully I can get my Weedle to evolve as well. Should only take one battle. He doesn't need that much XP. All right, level four Pidgey. Let's see. Here we go. Eh, he should be able to get it after this battle. I hope. I really hope so, cause I really don't want to have to do two battles for no reason. When I could have done one off camera and just showed you guys one, but whatever. So, here we go. Come on. Ah, it's the only thing we poison thing is so weak, it's awful. But, whatever. Uh, keep poisoning them. Come on, Weedle. Let's go. Let's go. Jesus, it's taking so long. Oh, um, that's what I wanted to talk about. In the last Let's Play, I was surprised that I found a Weedle because I thought you could only catch one in one version between Caterpie and Weedle one and the other. Uh, Alright, Weedle's level 7. Here we go. Evolving into Kukuna. Nice. Very nice. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I thought you could only catch Caterpie in one version and Weedle in the other. I was actually wrong. Like I said, don't quote me. It's that one is common in one version and rare and the other one's rare in that version, and then the other one's common. So I think it's Caterpie's common in blue, and Weedle is rare in blue, and then Red Weedle is common, but Caterpie's rare. So, but weird fact is that Weedle is not available to catch in yellow. Don't know why. I found that kind of weird. But, you know, whatever. So we're going to heal up our Pokemon here. We are in wonderful Pewter City, and this is gonna be uh, it's gonna be an episode of firsts here because we are our first evolutions, and we are going to go and fight our first gym leader as well. As you can see, I didn't show you guys because I wanted to surprise you with the wheel, but um, did some grind uh, leveling up. Like I said, I leveled up my Charmander to 13, Pidgey 12, Mankey 10, Rattata 10, and then Metapod and Cocoon obviously are seven. You saw that happen. Uh, I was going to level them up a little bit higher, I Caterpie in them, obviously, uh, the museum, nice, um, but, like I said, I wanted to show you guys the on-screen, on the evolutions and stuff, so, I didn't level up my Caterpie or Weedle any higher, so here we go, Jim, um, it's going to be difficult, because, like I said, I chose Charmander, so my life is not easy here at all, but whatever. Hi, do you want to dream big? Do you dare to dream of becoming the Pokemon champ? I'm the trainer, but I can advise you how to win. Let me take you to the top. Yeah, sure, man, why not? Alright, let's get happening. The first Pokemon out in a match is at the left. Oh, God, really? Is this something stupid? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought he was actually going to be like, Hey, this gym's rock. We use this type. I mean, I know the types that they're weak against, but... Winning trainers, Gary. Oh, what a douche. 
Really? Apparently Gary's the only one who's won at this gym before? Highly doubt it. Alright, first battle here. First gym trainer battle. Stop right there, kid. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. Whoa, 10,000 light years, huh? Big man here. Okay. Camper Liam. Here we go. Geodude, obviously. Alright, level 10. It's not too bad. Uh, let's go, Kakuna. Clearly, I'm not expecting my Kakuna or my Metapod to really do anything. Because, obviously, I mean, even with this first trainer, they're just two low levels. And... Yeah, but there's no point in putting them. I might have a full team of six, you know. Make my life easier. I'm not gonna put them away or anything, and they're the only ones I have. So, hoping I could get a get this Geodude poison. That'd be nice before Kakuna faints. But I don't know if I'm gonna be that lucky. Doesn't look like it. Well, maybe if he keeps using Defense Curl like an idiot, he could just knock me out. But all right, come on, Kakuna, poison him, poison him. Come on, come on. Jeez, nope. Um, Jeez, at this rate, maybe I'll be able to take out Geodude with Kakuna if he just keeps using Defense Curl every five minutes. Okay, alright. Come on. No poison? Nope, of course. Alright, so that should be the end of me. Yep, there you go. There's Kakuna. Done. I expected that, obviously. I'll send out my Metapod just to get him out of the way, too. I'm not going to send out one of my higher levels yet. I always send them my lowest levels first, let them get, you know, do whatever damage they can on them, and then get beat, and then, um, save my higher levels, because I don't want to not use a low level like a Metapod, and then, on some freak accident, like when Charmander faints or something, when I'm on Brock on his last Pokemon, I have to set up my Metapod, who's super weak, you know, but, yeah, so, this is going to be awful because all Metapod knows is Tackle, which Geodude has been defense curling for about the past hour, so his defense is probably through the roof. Eventually my Metapod's Tackle probably isn't even going to do anything, which is wonderful. Very wonderful. Okay, okay. Alright, please just kill me, Geodude. Please. Like, there we go. I should, nope, nope. Alright, well, Metapod can get one more hit in. Ugh. I don't even think. I can't. Is I can't remember. Is Rock weak against fighting? I don't think so. But whatever, it's worth a try. I thought like Rock or Ground or one of them was weak, but probably not. I'm probably just can't remember right. Oh, I was right. Yes. Wow, it's super effective. Nice. So I will actually will not have as much trouble with this gym as I thought. Good thing I went on that side route before and caught Mankey, otherwise my life would be a lot harder. So, but yeah, that's that's good to know, actually. I knew I thought that they were weak against fighting. Sancher, no, I'll keep you. I'll keep Mankey. Alright, clearly I'm going to go to the Pokemon Center. Um, so it's Rock is weak against, because Sancher is ground, and Sancher is not weak against my Mankey. Uh, let's go over Tata. But anyway, I'm clearly going to go to the Pokemon Center after this heal my Pokemon back up, because I'm not going to go fight Brock with, you know, two and a half Pokemon at this point. Maybe only two, depending on if Rattata can take this guy out. Uh, sand Attack, I hate Sand Attack. I hate when you're fighting one, a Pokemon, and they'll use Sand Attack like five times. Like, it looks like the Sandra's about to do. You stand attack five times in a row, and then, like, you can't hit anything. Like, here we go already. Yes, my attack was, I could have taken out the Sancheru, but... Oh, and he's using a fence curl, too. Like, come on, dude. Let me just kill you. Alright, come on, come on. Oh, my attack missed again. Great. Hmm. <coughs> Alright, come on. Really? My attack missed three times in a row? I don't even believe that. He only freaking sand attacked me twice. It shouldn't miss twice in a row. There, or three times, excuse me. There we go, okay. Oh, and wonderful, another sand attack. Uh, come on, Rotata, come on. Uh, boy, I think my Rotata's gonna go. Yep. If he doesn't have a scratch, he's dead. No, wow, defense curl, okay, well. 
Rattata, if you can get one hit on this guy, you'll kill him. Nope, of course not. Uh, and he just keeps using defense curl instead of killing me. Like, jeez. Let's go here. Quick attack. Nope. Nice. Wonderful. Oh, another. Uh, God. I'm just going to switch my Pokemon out if he doesn't kill me this next turn. What? Oh, okay. Wow, I hit him. That's surprising. <laughs> surprising after he did like 10 sand attacks, but when he only did two on me, I couldn't hit him for like five turns. Darn, light years isn't time, it's measures of distance. Yeah, I, I knew that. I'm aware. Okay. So let's go heal real quick before we face Brock. And actually... Don't want to put Mankey first and just move my life easier. No, I'm still going to keep... I'm still going to keep Kakuna and Metapod first just because I'm not going to have them towards the end and get screwed over by something stupid, so... We will go heal our Pokemon real quick. And then take on Brock. And hopefully, if things go according to plan, get our first badge. And I'm sure a lot of you guys out there are saying, Oh, why aren't don't you have any potions? Why aren't you using any potions? Um, honestly, I... Anytime I ever played Pokemon, even when I was younger... Even when I go back and play the newer games, whatever, I uh, I never, never even waste my time on potions. I, I don't know why, it's just something I've done, I just feel like it's a waste. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not really a waste when you get up to higher levels, but like, low levels like this, if I waste a turn using a potion, the guy could just kill me the next turn anyway, so I just wasted a turn where I could have done some more damage on him. But, I don't know, that's just my opinion. But here we go, time to fight Brock. So you're here, I'm Brock, I'm Pewter's Gym Leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard, well that's very inappropriate Brock, but okay. And have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all rock type. Fwahaha, you're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. Alright Brock. Talking about your Pokemon being rock hard, you freaking creep. Alright, Leader Brock would like to battle. Geodude clearly, and then obviously the second Pokemon's gonna be Onyx. Oh, jeez, level 12. So what is Onyx level 13, probably? <sighs> I think so, but I don't know. Hopefully I can take these dudes out. Nice, poisoned. Good job, Kakuna. Kakuna did his purpose. Oops, forgot to silence my phone. Sorry about that, guys. Gonna silence it now, so that doesn't happen again. You know, let's, uh... <laughs> I mean, I feel like this happens to me all the time. I don't know if any of you guys out there do videos or anything like that, but... I swear... I, I Today was my day off, and I've legit been sitting around all day. Not doing anything, really. And no one texts me. And then I swear, the second I start doing something like start recording or whatever it may be that's when everybody texts me every five minutes like hey what's up hey talk to me hey hey listen to me and it's like dude I've been sitting around all day just bored out of my mind wishing someone would text me and no one does like I don't know what's up with that I feel like that happens to me all the time I don't know if it happens to you guys but I swear it happens to me like all the time and I'm like dude like what the hell like, text me, like, should have texted me, like, three hours ago when I was bored out of my mind. Not that I'm doing anything now, I mean, I'm recording, but I'm not, like, it's not like I'm doing anything, any big plans or anything, but, jeez, like, really? Like, the second I start recording a video is when you're gonna message me? And I don't know if you heard that, too, but I just gotta vibrate, too, so someone else texts me again, like, jeez, dude. Two texts in a row, like, I'm not that popular. No one really likes me, so I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Alright, come on, come on. Wow, my, my, I didn't even realize my Kakuna might kill his, his Geodude, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, oh, wow, he might actually do this. If Kakuna can pull this off, that's amazing. Probably not, he's gonna die here again. Oh, well. It doesn't matter. He did a good job, though, I'm surprised. And now my Metapod will kill him. 
or Kikuna's Poison Oil. Nice. Metapod will gain all that experience, which is nice. Bubble up to level 8. Not bad. Almost 8.5. Um, I'm actually going to change Pokemon out here. I'm going to throw my Mankey in because I don't want what happened last time where I hold on to my Mankey and he just starts doing defense curls and then my Mankey's attack won't even work even if it's super effective. So I'd rather have him out first and get as much damage on him as possible. So we'll try this out here. Low kick. Come on, Mankey. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Nice. God, I'm so glad I caught this Mankey. Made my life a lot easier. So glad I won that detour. Wow, look at that. Two hits. Done. And that is our first gym badge, guys. Wow. So glad I caught that Mankey. I am so glad. Mankey got level 11. And he learned Karate Chop. Nice, nice. Another fighting move. That'll be useful. Defeated Brock. I took you for granted and so I lost. Yeah, bro. Yeah, Brock, you did. As proof of your victory, I confer on you this. The official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. Nice, I got the Boulder Badge. Very nice. So, uh, that was was not bad at all. For our first gym, gym uh, battle. Stepping the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables the use of the move Flash outside of battle. Of course, Pokemon must know the move Flash to use it. Nice, obviously. <sighs> Wait, take this with you. I got TM39 from Brock, which is... TM, Technical Machine, contains technique for Pokemon. Using a TM teaches a move. It contains two of Pokemon. TM is good for only one use. So when you use one, pick the Pokemon carefully. Rock Tomb. Nice, not bad. Hurls boulders at the foe and lowers its speed. Alright, well, let's see. I put my name on here. Brock, winning trainers, Gary and Chris. Yeah, what up? Smell you later, Gary. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. I just said smell you later. I'm an instant douche like Gary. Whatever. So, uh, we'll go heal my Pokemon here. Really quickly. Uh, yeah, I still want to keep Kakuna first and he's a lower level now, the Metapod. So, I think what we'll do is we'll heal my Pokemon here. And then we shall call that a part. And this is actually going to be a short video for the first time. This is crazy, considering somehow, some way, the Viridian Forest episode was actually like 30 seconds longer than the first one. I don't even get it. But, yeah, so we have our first gym badge. Let's see here. There it is, the boulder badge down in the bottom left. Very nice. But, so yeah. We have our first badge, guys. Pretty awesome. So, alright, well, we will call that a part. Finished up Pewter City, got the badge, and I will see you guys in the next part where we head on to more adventures in the Pokemon world later.